What's going on you guys? Connor O'Reilly here with Team Latitude 64 and OTB Discs and today I'm going to be walking you guys through what I like to do to warm up before my tournament rounds. And I know, I know you're probably saying, well, what are you doing at a basketball gym to show us how to warm up for, for disc golf? But uh, for me, I always like to kind of take the first 5, 10, 15 minutes of my disc golf warm up and it kind of melts into my old basketball routine. I kind of go back to my roots, make sure I get a sweat going, get the muscles feeling ready to play. Get the joints get the joints moving so the first portion portion of my warm-up typically includes a light jog followed by some dynamic stretching and movements get my lower body and my shoulder joints and my back ready to play disc golf it's a violent motion when you're throwing the disc especially when you're doing it at a high level and you got to make sure to get your body ready you always want to be doing only static or only static stretching after if you are going to be doing any static stretching, so make sure to avoid static stretching before playing. It can lead to injuries. You don't want to be too loose before you play. Anyways, without further ado, here's how I like to start my warm-up. All right, one more thing I forgot to mention. I typically like to get to the course about an hour before my round starts. I feel like that gives me enough time to get my body ready, throw some shots, and then warm up my putt, as well as maybe build in five, ten minutes or so to mingle with some fellow competitors or friends or go have a snack, refill your water, whatever you might find yourself needing to do when you get to the course. All right, here's the start of the warm up. Alright you guys, there you have it for the war the warm up and the dynamic stretching portion of the workout. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I forgot how much I enjoyed dunking and might have just got carried away for about a half hour. I typically like to break a little bit of a sweat before I go play my tournament rounds, but this might be a little overboard, so I don't quite advise 30 minutes of dunking before you go play your tournament. Anyways, here we are, we're warmed up, we're loose, joints have got some movement in us, blood's flowing. Now I like to go to the course, find an open spot, and spend 10 to 15 minutes throwing. Typically I like to kind of throw some hyzer angles, some straight shots, and some anhyzer angles. Kind of throw a mix of backhands and forehands. And maybe if I'm at a particular course where I know I'm going to be throwing a lot of a certain shape, whether it's straight or a hyzer, maybe I'll favor that certain shot in my field work session before my tournament round.
right now that's around a good amount of hyzers, flat shots, and anhyzer shots with the backhand. Time to move on to the sidearm. Seeing as I only brought my putting putters in with me, bear with me on some of these releases on the flick shots, all right? Come on, guys. Start with some hyzer, throw some flat shots, throw some anhyzer. At least on the release, the flight. We'll see what happens. That was supposed to be hydra. Alright you guys, at this point we've got a good sweat going, we've thrown some backhand, some forehand shots, probably got about 30 minutes till tea time. I like to spend at least 20 minutes on the practice basket before every round, so at this time I'm grabbing my stuff, heading over to the practice basket. Alright, so the final and most important step in the warm up for me is heading to the practice basket. I like to give myself at least a half hour, you know, at least 20 minutes of solid putting, maybe build in five to 10 minutes for banter with some competitors. Maybe ask Ezra if he ate black beans or pinto last night. Ask you, Labari, which putting stroke he's coming at, coming at us with today. You know, you never know what's gonna happen on, on the putting green. A couple good things, a couple good ways to get your, your putting started before a tournament. You can go to the quick ladder drill. If you wanna check out a video for how the ladder drill works. You can go onto my channel, one of my earlier videos. I break it down, it's a great drill. Find that comfort zone and try to expand it. So I'm gonna start with a ladder. Once I finish the progression of that, I'll kind of just go into a freestyle, make sure I'm never putting from the same spot, do some different stances, some lunge out left, some lunge out right, straddles, regular comfortable stance, maybe throw a couple high spinning chest putts, maybe a push putt or two. You always gotta have some variety, especially if you're playing a wooded course. It doesn't always go that well, but you know, when you hit the ladder on the first rack, maybe you're ready for some freestyle now. Once I've kind of found my rhythm inside the circle, inside that 30 foot range, and I've got a few minutes left before tee time, I'm gonna back it up, throw a couple jump putts, make sure I warm up the long bit.
have it, guys. That's how I like to warm up for my tournament rounds. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure when you warm up for your tournaments, maybe you don't quite get this sweaty. Or if you do, make sure to pack, pack plenty of water. If you're here still, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys being a part of the channel. If you haven't already, go to my last video. I threw in back-to-back -back aces, doing a sweet giveaway for over $400 worth of discs in a bag. Go check it out. Once again, thanks for watching you guys. Looking forward to bringing you some more content in the future. Comment below if there's a video that you would like to see. And I'll catch you guys here soon.